Well guys, in today's video, I'm gonna tell the story of how I got started feeding the bass and the turtles and the catfish. So this pond is actually a three acre lake that is in the back of a neighborhood. And uh, it's not some little inflatable pool that I stocked the fish in and then raised them. These fish were here originally. So I don't know if you guys know this, but they make catfish pellets. And uh, about nine, 10 years ago, me and my dad started feeding the catfish down here catfish pellets. And uh, the catfish would come up and uh, also little minnows and some small bluegill would come up. And uh, with those minnows and little bluegill, the bass would come and they would start eating the minnows and the bluegill that were eating the feed. So it didn't take too long before the bass started showing up regularly. I decided to catch some bluegill and try to feed some of the bass that were showing up. And uh, eventually I had one that I nicknamed Shadow that would always follow me around the pond. It was probably a two pound fish back then. And uh, she would just follow me around the pond and eat from my hand. So when that was happening, I figured shad were a little bit easier to catch than bluegill. So I'd go cast net some shad and then freeze them and then bag them. And then when I wanted to feed that fish down here, I would unthaw them. And by about, I don't know, two, three months, we had 15 or 20 bass just ready to feed. It was eight years ago when I first started feeding the bass and those fish are still the original ones that feed right now. There's actually hundreds of bass in the pond but there's only about 15 or 20 that feed on a daily basis. I actually do get some new bass come in every now and then. I guess they see the commotion and see what's going on. Well guys, again, I wanna thank y'all for the support. It's honestly been so cool getting to feed the fish and have y'all watch these videos. Please hit that like button for me and be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank y'all for watching.